All right, so yesterday I made a video on the upcoming banners for Global and the characters people should be watching watching out for to summon because I won't be I'll be paraphrasing a little bit of what I said, but I won't be going too into detail. Also, I don't want to say, oh, if you want to know what I said, go to that video. You're you're already here. I'll, I'll tell you. So <laughs> right now the banners are good. You should still be summoning for the current characters. I think to get at least one copy, no dupes, just get the characters because they are important to have. The seasonal characters are very good, and, you know, there's a lot of unfeatured characters that will make or break your account that you might still be able to pull in the upcoming banners, for sure, because they're unfeatured, but it's nice to have, like, Mars, Lotus, and Raz, I think those are the three big ones of the unfeatured regular SSRs that will carry you in PvP, and especially those blue guys, bro, farming gear, so much better. In any case, we now have a bit of confirmation of when these banners are going to be actually dropping. So next week, we're seeing the Midnight Sun. <laughs> I'm going to assume this means that they're going to be dropping both these two banners together. Absurd. Which is a weird phenomenon we had on Global Grand Cross as well when it first came out. They were popping banner after banner to, you know, catch up to JP. And that's pretty much what Global has been, or will be doing here. And, I mean, depends on how you see it. You know, a lot of people like being caught up to JP. Personally, I wouldn't mind if the game was a little behind, so that we would always have the foresight to know, okay, this banner is what I should save for, whatever. There's arguments for both, you know. A lot of people that play Fate and A might... You know, think, oh my god, I just hate waiting whatever many years it is that it's behind. But, you know, I'd always, I always thought, you know, if you want to be always caught up with JP, play JP. And uh, that, it's not as simple as saying that, of course. You know, if you spent money on Global, you obviously want to start up a new one and then spend money on the other one. But it's just how I see it. If they want to catch up, that's the way they're going to do it. And uh, they probably wouldn't want to slow JP. They, they, they did that with Grand Cross. They slowed JP and made Global fast to eventually catch up. It was terrible for JP. But I'm assuming these two banners are going to be dro dropping at the same time. And in this video, I talked about how I don't recommend summoning for Fun and Vettel. Mainly because Vettel sucks. Fun is good. Fun is good. And she's good for, for uh, gear farming. But Vettel sucks. And it's like, if only one half of the banner is worth it, and keep in mind, these are two regular banner characters. They are not seasonal, they're not festivals. They're gonna be in every banner. And you're gonna pull them, you're gonna pull dupes. You know, afterwards, you're gonna just keep pulling them unfeatured. And I think if half the banner sucks, what's the point, right? But with Licked and Raya, both characters are good. Uh, Licked is not going to be able to compete in PvP, you know, after Noel comes out. He'll be able to for the one week before Noel, but, you know, whatever, right? One week. But they're both good PvE characters. Rai is a good boss nuker, and Licked is a good gear farmer. I mean, they're both good gear farmers. You can run Licked and Raya. And I made the, the point where green is the worst element. At the current moment, in the game right now, green is the worst element. Because what is there for green? Like, there's Rads, there's uh, Mimosa, and then... What? <laughs> like, and they're both support characters, they're not even DPSs, right? So, you know, these characters are good for that. But if they're going to be pumping out banners, man, I don't know if I recommend anymore summoning for Licked and Raya. It's like, okay, it's going to drop this week, you know, from the 3rd to the 10th. And then in the 19th, we get Season 2, which, by the way, you know... Why? Okay, I... I what? <laughs> Why is she here? <laughs> Isn't you no season... <laughs> season 2? Am I tripping? What? Whatever, the season 2 banner, right? Is gonna contain not only Red Yami, which I think, you know, people shouldn't really be summoning for, but if you do, you do you. I'm not your dad. And all the unfeatured SSRs that you want dupes for, or that you have, if you haven't pulled, that you want, like Lotus, like Mars, and Noel, which is extremely OP. And with how they're pumping the banners, you know, we're probably going to be seeing season three like two weeks after that, 
dear lord. But in any case, this is just such a, a must summon character. And in my opinion, right, what I will be doing as a strategy here is I'm saving all my dupes for Julius. Personally, I'm saving all of my dupes for Julius and I'm saving my crystals for Noel at the moment. So I'm going to pull as many Noels as I can. And then with the dupes, the dupe stones that I have saved up, I'm going to max dupe Julius. Because th these are just two characters that they're so important to your account that, you know, I want to have them max duped, right? And they, in, in the Black Clover news page, they mentioned end of December is unknown. I'm going to assume end of December, they're going to be dropping Kahono and Kyato uh, two weeks after the the seasonal banner comes out and then shoot two, two weeks a week a week after the the december banner comes out the the seasonal december summer banner <laughs> comes out we're gonna be getting kaono and kyato which is an easy skip easy 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 skip and then honestly after that i wouldn't be surprised if they drop julius like straight up I would not be surprised because they are trying to pump these banners out. And if they do drop Julius, it's very, very close. Or even more likely, you know, they're going to be dropping. So this is season two, right? They're going to be dropping Kahoto, Kahoto, Kahono, and Kyoto right after, a week after. Then two weeks later is going to be season three. And season three is an easy skip, I think. Where is the other season 3 character? Because in, I think you just get Charmy for free. You can get one of these characters, one dupe of one of the characters. You know, one copy, better said, right? For free. These two characters suck. Asta and Vanessa suck. You get Charmy, she's, she's really good. You get her for free. You don't need to pull. And then, you, they're probably going to drop Julius a week after. So you pull for Julius. Get as many as you can. Dupe him out because he's so OP. I think that's how the uh, the banner schedules and uh, <laughs> how, how we should be looking at it is. Although, if you summon, if you tell me that, you know, I'm going to summon for Ryan Licht, I think that that's a banner that, th that's an element especially that I really want to get, you know, units for. I don't blame you. I think that the value on this banner is there still. And even if you summon for Fauna, you know, I, I can't blame you. Like, these characters, especially when the game is so fresh, it's like... Man, I don't even have, like, a team going for me. I kind of want Fauna to be able to farm my, my gear, right? This is why it's so tough when the banners are dropping so fast. Like, <laughs> I always say this about Grand Cross. It's like, if you are free to play and you're pulling for random banners instead of saving for either collabs or festivals, you're playing the game wrong, which is fine. You can play the game however you want, but if you complain to me <laughs> that, oh no, I can't compete! Well, you're ch you're making the bad choices. So, it's your fault, really. It's not the game that's not giving you enough resources. You're making bad choices, which is fine, but you shouldn't really complain about your own choices as if it's somebody else's fault. That's how I see it. But the game is so fresh that I think quote-unquote bad choices are not even that bad. So, this is how the banners are looking like. And this is how, again, I assume the banners are going to be looking like. But if you do someone for Kahono Kyato, that's a bad choice, and I do not forgive you for that. You are going to hell. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> In any case, um, yeah, let me know. Are you excited for uh, the spam of banners? Now, it seems like, you know, Global is giving us a good amount of crystals early on. They're already, you know, giving us a good amount of rewards because of this. And that's, again, exactly what Grand Cross did. They are aware. They're dropping a ton of banners because they want to catch up. It's their fault, like, for, for taking months and months and months to make a global dub for the game. But whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure that's not why. It took, <laughs> I want to clarify. I'm sure that's not why the game took so many months to drop. But, you know, in any case, it's, it is their fault for taking so many months to drop and they're kind of screwing us over and making the game super fast. But in any case... You should be prepared, because that's how it's going to be. And then after Julius, I mean, the seasons are going to keep piling on. If they're going to make each season two weeks, holy shit. 
Because the seasonal characters, like, they're good. I would just say, like, do not summon for any regular banners. Only summon for seasonals and, and festivals if you want to be able to compete. Because if you look at the top characters, right? Other than Lotus and, and, and Mars, every SSR you see here, Lotus, Mars, Rods, except Fauna, like, Lotus, Mars, Rods is, like, the day one characters that we already have, right? Other than them, all of the characters you see at the top of the tier list are festival or seasonals except Fauna, which literally just came out on JP. All of them. Seasonal, 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 SR, SR. Then we have the three, you know, day one characters and then Fauna. Seasonals are so much more important. In an overall vacuum, so much more important than regular banners. So that's my advice and that's what I'm going to follow. Uh, for the most part, you know, as someone that it does spend money, I will be summoning for Lichtenraya still, because I think it's good value, but I'm definitely not gonna go crazy, I'm not gonna max dupe them or anything, definitely not summoning for these, and going crazy for Noel, so let me know what you guys are gonna do, and uh, that's about it.